saw, that's the first time here was two years ago, is that right? Uh, yeah, this truck's debut was uh, about two years ago, that World Cup Finals, yes. Gotcha. If, if our fans don't remember, this is the 2JZ truck. This is the 2JZ right? truck, it's the K24 truck. Yeah, you uh, guys we, are We built them together, uh, yes, that's correct. Gotcha. What is the, give, give me a rundown, remind us what the setup is on the 2J. It's a 2JZ with a basic aluminum rod, like stock ported 2JZ GT head. Uh, it has a 6785 on it. Uh, uh, right now there's a power glide uh, with a Pro Torque torque converter. I screwed this all up. No, I'm you're sorry. good. I'm sorry. So, what is the best ET on the truck as the, of the, right now? The fastest the truck's been 789 on a 7685, much later than it is now. Gotcha. I stacked uh, 500 pounds on it to get it to uh, True Street Rolls. Uh, last year we qualified one and two. Uh, he, Chris put an 8, 822 and I won an 827. And uh, I spun in the semifinals, and uh, I didn't get the win, but he won it, and he got he got a 300 pound. Who actually got bumped out of the class in the super straight. Uh, he already went tested. He went 813. Hey, I just struck the tires, so I'm gonna make some adjustments and get back out there. Gotcha. Uh, what are you guys hoping to do? Are you uh, ET or just go rounds? Basically? Well. With, 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 with the extra weight, you can't really do an ET, right? Well, it's, I should probably do, I, should, I think it'll go at 820, which will do pretty well in the class. Uh, I'm usually pretty good on the lights, usually. Um, but so, if I go 820 and, and go 820 with the good lights every round, it should, it should do pretty well. Gotcha.
What round are we in? This is the second round still. Is it really? Yeah, it's, it's late, but it's the second we're round. We're about to say it's 5.30 in the evening, and yeah. it's early in the second round. Yep. We got the head gasket changed. And, uh, about, about, like, that's all good? Yeah, everything's good. Was the head gasket have a little... Yeah, it was all right. It was all right, but you changed it anyway? Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, it's, it's, it, it had a little bit. It, it pushed a little bit, but it was all right. It wasn't too bad. Gotcha. We could have probably made it, but we had some times we changed it anyway. Got, yeah, you had a lot of time. A lot of time. Yeah. Lot of time. So is there any big changes for this? For no, this it's uh, it's got the 810 tune-up in it. Uh, it's an A to B, hopefully nothing. I don't beat myself, but... Uh, I won't. I won't go real aggressive on the tree. I'm scared to go red. John Sat just went red, and uh, I'm scared to kind of hit the tree too hard. But I've seen a few guys go red. That yeah. I was like, really? Like yeah. that guy went red? Like a it's, few, it's, a few people. Uh, you know, they, they say you see, see yellow, you really can't go red on a, on a pro tree. But uh, a lot of people have done that just that today. Yeah. I was like super late on it racing uh, Bello, and then I went like a 200. He went a point oh oh one, so he was on it, and I wasn't. But you him down yeah, he was uh, the 30 second car, so it wasn't really like uh, sweating trying to, to bang the light. Right. Uh, I think this, I think this is 16 qualifier. So I mean, I think he went an 860, but any of these cars can go, you know, bottom eights. Yeah. Uh, that has potential for sure. So you know, when you, especially when you're number one qualifier, they throw the kitchen sink at it. So you know, it's do or die. It's in the year. Everybody's just trying to make all the horsepower. So. We'll see. Well, good luck to you, man. Yep. Lucky than fast. Holy I guess. crap! That was bad. You ran what a 13? I don't know. It, it, I left. It went a 1564. It went up in smoke. Uh, I gotta go right a Motec. Save my ass program. I gotcha. Cause that, that was bad. Well, good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> It did spin. Oh, it did spin. Yeah, the traction control kind of worked. But it didn't, you didn't run a 13, though. No, so. it, it caught it, uh, gathered it up, and it, it went down the track. Now, you mentioned before before the pass when I was putting the GoPro in that the trans is making some... There is something really wrong with the rear end, the trans, yeah. torque converter. Something. I'm not sure, but it still moves, so I'm nice up until it comes from... Are you in the finals right now? No, semis. Oh, semis. Yeah, still got a while to go. Gotcha. Uh, I don't think the track is... <laughs> Good. So it wasn't gonna, what it was yesterday. So you're going to take a lot of power out of it? For I don't really want to. All right. Um, I have to. Um, Do you know who you're racing? I have no idea. idea. Gotcha. I, I know nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. You just know something's making a bad noise, yes. but it still moves under it. It still moves. Power. We're going to put some new transload in and we'll go up our track. All right. Well, fingers crossed you don't blow anything out. All right. Thanks. Good luck, man.
we need uh, the, the battery's uh, dead. We we're need? trying to change it out last second. Gotcha. So we're going to rig something. Probably want to jump back in the car. You're good, Jim. Maybe some jumper cables. You good? Hold on. Yeah. Okay, let's drop his battery in. This is a bad idea. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing exactly right now? My old radar shit to bed at some point, and uh, I got a... Your battery's dead, so you, you ran jumper cables through the firewall to another battery? Yeah. 16 volts, so we should charge it. There we go. Yo, we gotta go, dude. You're good, you're good. They, you're the last class. So, at some point in the day, his alternator died, and so his battery died. It wasn't getting charged. So what they just did right there is they took a 16-volt battery, ratchet strapped it to the cage, and then they took jumper cables, ran it through the firewall from one battery to the other, so they can start the car. They also taped the uh, jumper cables to the batteries so, they so those cables won't come off. And now they're rolling the car up into the staging lanes for the final. Last year, this truck made it to the semifinals and spun and he lost. So he's in the finals right now and just hoping that the, the car starts and he can make a clean pass and take over the win this time. Some money to go get. You got some pictures to take. Thank you, God, because you won. Yeah, we're pumped. You know what? You know what I think I'm gonna name this thing? What? The loaded taco. The loaded taco. <laughs> the loaded taco. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Congrats, man. Thank you. You made it to the semifinals last year. This year. Yep, we got oh. it done. It wasn't pretty. We got super lucky. But, yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes. Hey, sometimes it'd be better. I'd rather be lucky than good any other way. There you go. There you go. Congrats, man. That's huge. Thanks. Really happy for those guys with the loaded taco. Uh, they made it to the semifinals last year. We're all rooting for that truck. We love that truck because it's so unique. Who races a truck? And it's got a 2J in it, so how can you not like that? And this year, they came back. They had a lot of luck, but sometimes it takes a lot of luck to win races. They ended up winning. They're going home with some money and uh, a win at the biggest event that we cover all year, so that's huge.